Welcome to manucloudlearning.com. In this video, I am going to cover Windows Admin Center part two. In that, uh, we are going to you know uh, resume our task which we have done it last time, right? That is fail our cluster setup uh, using our Windows Admin Center. As you can see here in the last uh, you know the video, we were performing uh, the validation of the cluster, right? I just performed a validation a few minutes back. Okay, as you can see the result, okay. So it is checking each and everything, right? Inventory category and network and apart from sys uh, configuration, right? So it does some warning sandal. Uh, why this warning? Uh, when I, check, uh, I just quickly validated, it says um, I, I, I am using uh, multiple NIC cards on this virtual machine. One is my NAT adapter, okay? Related to that only, that I can ignore, no, not an issue. And system related configuration, uh, as you can see here. Validate all drivers and since it is you know desktop hardware, I just uh, made it as you know yeah, the servers, right? So there is a uh, this under not uh, Microsoft you know WHQL or Windows uh, Hardware Quality Lab certified hardware, right? Just for testing purpose, we were uh, bring this hardware. So uh, this under fine. Uh, I will not get you know uh, driver uh, digitally signed certification under fire for this hardware, right? So that's the reason this under showing. That's not a problem. Uh, and again, you can see the update level. Okay, this is also fine for now. Okay, just for the setup, right? If I want to download this report, uh, just click on download and you will get this, you know, same kind of way. When you are performing from the classic uh, interface, right? You will get a uh, summary, right? If I go to wherever the warnings, okay? I can just, you know, uh, read that warnings and I, I can try to, uh, you know, fix all the warnings related to this one, right? So in our case, uh, we are just proceeding further. Just I am closing this one. If I want to save this as permanent, it is already located in uh, one of the you know download folder. It is there. Okay, I can save it uh, and uh, you know uh, read it later point of time as well. Just close this uh, for now. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, you know uh, go ahead with the next option. So I have an option to validate again. So I'm just going to uh, proceed with the next option. Here, uh, this is option, right? Um, what is your cluster name? I'm going to give uh, here, if I hover the mouse, there is something called, uh, you know, uh, NetBIOS, uh, there is an option, right? Um, uh, where you can enter up to 15 characters. So let me just uh, give the cluster name as Manu Cloud. Manu Cloud plus zero one. Let's see whether it will uh, work or not. Okay, plus zero one or just, you know, uh cluster that's okay that's uh, more than 15 characters or we'll uh, leave just you know manu cloud test that's enough ip address let me just uh, you know make it as uh, static instead of you know um, dscp reserved ip address and all let me i'm just going to give the ip address which i am not using in my current infrastructure 192.168.1.150 uh, which is not used let me say add. If I click on advanced button, uh, this yeah, if I click on advanced button, I have an option to, you know, register uh, the cluster uh, with the DNS and Active Directory, all kind of options are there. Okay, so let me just, uh, you know, hide this window and uh, I believe, okay, I didn't add that, uh, you know, IP address was not 192.168.1.150. I need to click on add button. That was skipped for now. Yeah, let me just click on add right away. And click on create cluster. take uh, some uh, time so we will wait for that as you can see here it is you know um, configuring all the cluster service on node one and once it is done then it will uh, you know uh, switch to the next one okay so after that uh, already i have presented iskc you know uh, there are two lands to this one i am using there is a sam01 this is a windows server 2022 and it has you know storage let me just go to the server manager and I'll uh, show you where it is located. Uh, 
I this server I just made it as the iSPECI uh, server. So when I say iSPECI, uh, I'll be able to use the local you know disk uh, that I can present over the network, right? Using the Ethernet. So let me just expand this. And all the you know uh, virtual VHD files, which I will be able to use as you know the LAN right. So here I have uh, as you can see there is an additional drive. It does everything right. There is a demo inside this all this quorum and volume one. If you look at inside there is a VHD that one only presented over the as you can see. If I go to the node one and if I just search for as you can see. There will be initiator, right? This is a client software, so it is uh, nowadays it is built in with uh, Windows uh, servers and all. So if I look at here, as you can see here, this is my target, right? If I go to the discovery, this is IP address of uh, that storage server. Okay, so it's all uh, just presented and connected, and you know that stage is kept. Okay, it is easy for us to you know save our time, right? Now it is you know cluster is uh, created. Now verifying cluster name and DNS, uh, you know, resolution. I'll wait for a while. And also, let me just go to one of the node and we'll see. Here, I have all the failover cluster feature that has been installed. If I go over here, Once everything is ready, I'll be able to manage even uh, from that, you know, it's, it's in progress, right? As you can see here, cluster name, uh, this is the name, okay? My new cloud test. That means cluster name is already created, okay? So remaining, uh, yeah, it's a test. And it has used, uh, you know, uh, 150, maybe I have entered two times. They let me remove this, which is not uh, no longer required. So it's not record. This is IP address. Uh, the second IP address, uh, as I mentioned, uh, there is a NAT adapter also. Uh, that is the IPv6, you know, this thing, it has taken automatically. Okay, that's the reason you are seeing one more IP address over here. If I go to the node, let's see how it is progressing. Okay, it has taken uh, my site subnet as, you know, uh, 192, 1 uh, this subnet. As you can see here, it is a 4GB virtual machine only. I just made it as a, you know, cluster node, 4GB, 4GB. Okay, and if I go to the networks, I'll be able to, you know, uh, rename. Uh, meanwhile, let me see what is the progress which is showing there. Okay, here it is saying, okay, use my Windows. Okay, let me just specify the credential over here. That is the uh, domain credential, Manu Cloud Learning, Manu Cloud Learn uh, slash administrator. Then let me enter my credential over here. Okay, let me just tick, uh, use this credential for all connection. Yeah, yeah. let's say yes. Cluster is already uh, created. Now we are into next stage. Now it is uh, verifying cluster name, DNS uh, resolution, okay. Okay, that part is done. Now we are into uh, verifying node DNS resolution. So if everything is success, you will see one by one this green color checkbox. Okay, I just, um, you know, just navigated just to curiosity uh, what is happening inside this, okay? So we uh, we were able to identify there is, you know, cluster that has been created. Uh, we haven't uh, created any witness handle, right? Even that also possible. I believe I didn't check for that, you know, storage validation. That's the reason I does not, uh, you know, uh, taken the eligible disk to the cluster. Okay, if we go to the disk. Okay, it has not taken. So yeah, we will do it. Okay, now this is uh, uh, clearly saying that uh, cluster has been successfully cleared. Click on finish. Okay, now let me just, uh, you know, go back to the connection list. As you can see here, earlier we have uh, server. Now we have uh, one more, uh, you know, clusters. There is an icon also. It is saying that uh, two node, right? Okay, multiple nodes and uh, that kind of uh, icon it is listing. So now just let me click on this cluster. Everything web interface, um, you will be able to do it. Backend or the PowerShell script, whatever related to this, right? It will execute.
since it is uh, first time it is getting connected so that's the reason it is taking you know first time uh, loading all things ready and uh, similar way let me see all things are fine here okay we have um, okay network is fine even i can rename this uh, network handle if i go to the properties i'll be able to rename just for my identification i am aware this is my uh, lan network okay it's a local and uh, second one also i'll be able to rename as just to identify that is uh, this is not uh, zero dot series right this is my net adapter where i am getting internet inside the virtual machine now we are, there is a hyper v switch has been created for this now um, if i go to the node everything is up and running okay let me try to create a uh, you know uh, just a role generic role say next say other server or generic uh, service or script say next okay script and all it's asking for path even service this also will you know okay we can pick any of the the board user okay say next now we'll give a uh, test role this and all uh, in reality it is not there just giving you know, just to uh, test the thing, we will give role IP address as 151. Same subnet is success and role name I have given test role. That's it. Just to test the ability, whether we, we are able to, you know, create the roles over here. Okay, this all uh, says next, next. Okay, role. Uh, this is just a generic uh, test role that has been created, and uh, we have given IP address also. Okay, let it wait for a while, and meanwhile we'll see uh, the cluster console from the uh, Windows admin center. As you can see here, current uh, owner for this, you know, it's uh, Node One uh, for this cluster, and uh, here we have uh, lots of options, right? Security updates, Node disk, etc. Since it is a low profile machine, that's the reason it's taking uh, some time to load the, you know, this wizard. And uh, let me come back to my screen. Yeah, as you can see here, the test role is running. That means it's, uh, you know, basic test has been performed. It's working, right? If I want to move this uh, cluster uh, role to the second, okay, when I say cluster role, it is inside a cluster. It's a, a cluster name separate, it is there. And if I want to move this to the second node, let me see. Is that practically possible? Yes, it's happening, right? So um, let me uh, go back to overview session. And once again, click on this disk. I'll wait for a file uh, while. And if it is not, if it is taking long time, so we'll be able to add the eligible disk from here itself yeah right now uh disk are uh, not showing okay nothing is eligible that's the reason it's not presented in a proper way that's the reason it's not showing here okay so let me come back yeah as you can see here there is no disk nothing is eligible to add right okay so yeah this is how the you know basic uh, clusters are set up using the windows admin center the rest of the things um, uh, you can follow what I, know I did, right? You can also try to experiment in your test lab. Just if you have a 16 GB laptop and all, you will be able to, you know, test all these things, okay? Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next topic. Thank you for watching.